Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you're new, welcome. My name is Ashley. I'm so happy you're here. So today's video is going to be a very realistic weekly cleaning with me. Most of the time I'm doing these like weekly cleaning routines or daily cleaning routines. They're very professional. I have it very organized so you guys can see exactly what I do. But I thought this one would be really fun to like change up and try to just show you like in real life how I'm cleaning. So every time I need to clean, I'm gonna try to remember to pick up this camera as much as possible, just so you guys can actually see, like I'm cleaning throughout the entire day. Like for some videos, yes, I'll like film for two hours straight, but like on normal days, I'm just cleaning as I go. So I hope you guys find this video super, super helpful. If you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and let's jump straight into today's video. I feel like today's video is gonna be helpful if you're a stay-at-home mom, a work-from-home mom, you work out of the home mom, this video is gonna help you because every day is so different for me. Like some days I'm a stay-at-home mom, some days I'm a work-from-home mom, and some days I'm like a work out of the home mom with the reno going on because we're having to spend so much time over there. So if you just stick with this, I promise you're gonna find a day that kind of looks like your day and maybe you'll learn some tips or tricks that will help you keep your weekly cleaning schedule. You won't go fooling me twice now, baby. I'm sorry. As you can see, I'm cleaning my kitchen. I'm gonna take my Jaws granite top cleaner. So I actually have quartz countertops, but this product works great on them. I used this on the granite in my last house. It has the best smell in the world. I do wanna thank Jaws for sponsoring today's video. It's a just add water system. So what's really cool is you get the bottle and then you can do pod refills. They're easy to store. They're not paying to ship water. You get to save on a plastic waste because you can just keep reusing your bottle and they have tons to choose from. I'm gonna show you all of them here, but I'm not showing you the bathroom cleaners just because this is under my sink. I can show you those later on. But if you guys haven't heard about this, it's non-toxic, it's pet friendly, it's eco-safe. Here's all my pod refills. Obviously you don't need that many, but it's nice you can just store them super easily. And I'll share more about these products as we go throughout this video. Okay, so I know from far away my house looks clean, <laughs> but George went outside while we were watering today. And if I get real close, he came in with muddy paws. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it like really up close, but there are muddy paw prints all the way around my rug. It was all over my tile, but once again, I cleaned all that before I realized I was gonna be filming this video, but I wanted to show you real life. My house does not stay clean. I have two fur babies <laughs> and a lot of white furniture. So this thing gets pulled out all the time, sometimes daily, sometimes it's just once a week. It's typically never just once a month. I mean, it's normally at least once a week, if not more often. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get this rug nice and clean. Okay, I made a big no-no mistake. So the last time I shampooed my rugs, I typically leave this out so Chase can dump all that nasty water out. I must have went ahead and stuck it in the garage, or he did, it was one of our mistakes, and we left that dirty water in there. I went to vacuum and it smelled horrible. So he cleaned it out, so we started over fresh, but if you look at that very beginning clip, you can still see that dirty water in there. Do not do that. It won't like mess up the system, but it will smell horrendous <laughs> the next time you go to shampoo. And less than 10 minutes, 
my rug is brand new again <laughs> nice and wide i don't have to worry about it i had forgotten left um some in here last time it smelled horrible so when i first started i had chase and dump it out so this is everything just from this rug but do not leave this in here the next time you go to clean it smells horrible um i guess i was busy that day so that is just everything from i mean it's a big rug but it's not that big it's not even thick look at that that is crazy okay so as far as a monday goes this was it i'm gonna tidy up my bathroom real fast my house was super clean. I didn't have to do much that night. We were gone the entire day. I came home and showered and went straight to bed. Um, so most days you're gonna see, I'm not doing a ton of cleaning, but as long as I'll maintenance clean every day, it's never that much work. Welcome to Tuesday. So we're day two of the week. Something I do want to mention is I do make my bed every single day. So I didn't share it in the first clip because I didn't realize I was going to film this video until after I had made it. I don't know if I show this every single day. I didn't want it to get too repetitive, but I wake up every single day and make my bed. I feel like it just sets the tone for the day. I feel like it's nice to crawl into at night. That is a small baby step. If you're not a big cleaner and you want to be better at it, you don't have to be, but if you want to be, start by making your bed every single day. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I have to have a cup of water next to my bed to sleep at night. I feel like I chug water before I go to bed and then I just love having it throughout the night just in case I need a drink. And then I always have to do laundry. You're probably gonna see laundry in most of these days as well. There may be like one or two days that it doesn't happen just because I'm so busy, but I feel like laundry is just something that has to be done constantly. Once a week, I do like to clean our bathrooms just to maintain them. I don't love doing this full deep clean often, so I just wanna maintenance them as I go. I'm gonna grab my Jaws bathroom foaming cleaner. So they have two options. You can get this foaming cleaner, or they have the same purple bottle, and it's called a shower cleaner, and it's still that liquid. So it's just whatever you prefer. I feel like the foaming's really good for bathrooms because they tend to get kind of dirty, and it can kind of just soak in there, so you don't have to scrub as hard but this is a really good choice especially if you have babies in the house and you're cleaning bathtubs and then putting your kids in a bath I just feel like it's so nice to go non-toxic when you're working in a bathroom and once again I'm gonna grab that granite countertop cleaner to clean my countertops and my bathroom they're quartz as well they're the same as the kitchen so basically I have enough bottles to stay underneath all the sinks in my house that's what works for me. I feel like I clean more often if I'm not on the hunt searching for products. And then I'm also gonna grab their glass cleaner to wipe down my mirror. So basically I can clean my entire bathroom and it be non-toxic. They are super affordable as well. If you break it down, it's amazing. And I do have a coupon code for you guys. So if you decide you want any of the products I'm talking about today with the jaw system, um, all you have to do is use Ashley 25 and you're gonna get 25% off your entire order. And honestly, just like that, it takes me under 10 or 15 minutes to kind of clean up my bathroom. I do clean the toilets. I don't show that. They're kind of hard to get to and film. Plus, I don't think anybody loves watching um, us YouTubers clean toilets. So just know I do it, but it doesn't take long at all. And then my bathroom always stays clean. Another thing I like to do is vacuum often. So in my last house, I probably did this three times a day. Now I do it more like every other day. We're just a lot busier. Life has gotten a lot busier, but I like to vacuum our rug because um, our boys are in here a lot and my people have allergies and there's some fur and stuff. Plus vacuum lines just make me happy. Hence the Till Vacuum Do Us Part name. I love, love, love vacuuming. But just like that, in about 15 minutes, my bed was made this morning, the bathroom's picked up and the floors are clean and it just makes it a nice calming place to come into when it is bedtime. But now I'm gonna go in my kitchen and do it a little tidy up in there. Things got so complicated. All I wanted was 
Okay, as you can see, it's eight o'clock at night. My living room just doesn't get that dirty. I may fluff up the pillows, but that's it. But my kitchen always is dirty. So I'm gonna work on that now. I like having that little mini routines in place to help keep my house under control. So I have like a morning one, and then anytime I'm gonna leave the house during the day, and then again in the evening, and that kind of just keeps everything under control. And once it's a routine, you honestly don't even realize what you're doing. You just do it and you're maintaining your house. Okay, the next product that I'm gonna talk about with Jaws is the multi-purpose cleaner. So this one's huge. So say you're on a tight budget, but you're wanting to try something new, you're wanting to go more non-toxic, this is definitely an easy way to do it. I'm gonna also show how you fill it up. So basically you get your empty bottle. There is a line that says fill two. You're gonna fill it to that. And then all you do is set the pod in on top and then you're just gonna put the top on. And as you screw on that top, the product is gonna release. It is the most satisfying thing. My daughter loves doing this. Anytime it's time to refill them, she wants to do it. I love doing it. I love watching it. But but is super easy and like I said this multi-purpose cleaner is nice if you don't have a huge budget or you don't want a ton of products right here you're gonna see me clean metal chairs a painted wood table and then a wood bench it is cleaning all of it and one more thing I want to add this is a really good cleaner to clean with at night because the smell or the scent is lavender. That's also another reason I love their products is they have a scent to them, but they're in no way overwhelming. So I get headaches super easy to smell. So it has to be very non-toxic. I have to have like soy candles and I can only burn them for so long. So cleaning products can really get me with the scent based. Theirs leaves my space smelling clean and fresh, but it's not overwhelming and they never, ever, ever give me headaches. asked over on Instagram but I'll ask here as well do you guys have like a catch-all space a lot of people said their kitchen island um, their dining room tables for me it's my laundry room because it's like our mud room it's right where we come in and out of the house so everything gets dropped there but if you have a catch-all space definitely let me know down below in the comments section if it's something different than those main areas but now I'm gonna go ahead and get laundry started because that's just like what we do Now we're gonna move on to Wednesday. You can see here my bed still isn't made. Um, I've got to work on more laundry. So I had worked on my daughter's last night. So I need to flip all that and put some of ours in. Um, I try not to keep huge laundry baskets so they do fill up easier, but I wanna know my whole laundry basket can fit in my washer. I don't wanna take a whole load in there and it have to be three. So the smaller the basket you have, it will be smaller loads, but at least you know when it's full it'll all go in the laundry. I would hate to have like this huge basket and every time I fill it up knowing I have like three loads to work on that day. So definitely test out different size laundry baskets if you have a laundry problem and see if that helps you out at all. Also, if you work outside of the house or you're just gone a lot, I feel like the best system is to start a load first thing in the morning. It can even be running like while you're getting ready. And then when you get home, you can just throw it in the dryer then and then right before you go to bed, fold it. That's typically the best system that works for me. Even if I'm here working, sometimes I forget to go in there and switch the laundry. So if you could just keep one load going a day, definitely try to just start it in the morning 
switch it over either in the afternoon or when you get home from work and then fold it right before you go to bed and put the items away quickly. Otherwise they're just gonna pile up and it's gonna cause more of an issue. I'm trying to kill some time so these sleepy heads will wake up and I can make my bed, but I don't think they're gonna budge today. <laughs> Obviously, Tiger on the ground's fine, but George is just not ready yet, are you? You're still a little sleepy? Still not ready to get up? I gotta make my bed. He does not care. <laughs> See, I'm a good boy, I got down, didn't I? You know it's time to make the bed. <laughs> This one could care less. <laughs> Cleaning off my nightstand is a must do every morning. It's kind of like making the bed. Um, Savannah normally has a snack in here before she goes to bed and then I always have my water. Um, I charge my Apple Watch at night so all that just kind of has to be put away. It's a quick process. But now I'm just gonna quickly make my bed again. You guys know I do this every day but I just kind of wanted to show you what every day looked like for me. For saying I should slow down but maybe I'm escaping the love we found is something about you I will say another thing I do is I'm always adding things to our garage sale bins. Um, if you guys watched my garage organize with me, I added these bins down here that are for garage sales. So anytime we get rid of something, Savannah is always decluttering. And I think she's at that age too. She's like growing out of things and she's really learning her style. And so she knows just to put it in the laundry room because that's the catch all space. <laughs> but it works out nice because I can take it straight to the garage, put it in the garage sale bin and we can sell it later um, but I just feel like that system works really well for us so if you don't have like a donation system or grot cell system something like that start figuring it out it could be a basket in a closet it could be something in your garage but that really does keep the flow going and then when she declutters she can just kind of do it as she goes and it's not this huge process Welcome to Thursday. We're getting close to the weekend. So if you can have all your major cleaning done at the beginning of the week, it is kind of nice that you're not like cleaning toilets on Friday or Saturday. <laughs> so definitely think about that when you're working on it. This time I did a little YouTube magic so you guys didn't have to watch me make the bed again. Okay, so last night I didn't get to show it. We got home late and my battery died, but I did switch the laundry. So I pulled out Savannah's and just threw it here. <laughs> and then I threw um, our laundry into the dryer and then went to bed. So that's where I'm starting off today. Here's another little fun tip. As your kids get older, they actually start helping you clean. I don't put away Savannah's laundry anymore. I'll do it occasionally, like if she's super busy and I wanna help her out or if she's not feeling well. But for the most part, like I wash it, I dump it on her bed, she will fold it, she will put it in her drawer, she will hang it up. It's actually a win-win because she likes her things in a certain spot and a certain way and she doesn't get mad or irritated with Chase or I because we put it in the wrong spot. So if you have young kids, Kids, just know help is on the way. Cause I know, I know, I know what you planned out. Everything that you built up isn't what you want. Here is a helpful hint or tip if you're a large family. I have some friends that have large families and she gave me this advice for you guys. But basically all her kids are older. They can do their own laundry. So she has it scheduled out. Like on Mondays, the wife does her and her husband's laundry. And then on Tuesday, it's like the older daughter's turn. On Wednesday, it's the son's and so on. 
they were fighting over the washer and dryer a lot. So she learned to just each of them, give them a day. So every Tuesday, the daughter knows it's her turn to get all her laundry done. And if she wants clean clothes for the week, she has to do her laundry. So I felt like that was a really, really good system if you're in a large family as well. Also, you're gonna see as I'm going throughout the week, there's some things I don't do daily, but every day I try to pick one thing to do differently. It may be a deep clean, it may be refilling something, it may be organizing, but every day do your daily cleaning routine and then add one thing to it that you haven't done in a while. And I know, I know, I know the life you're living isn't that fulfilling. Let me help you out. Now I'm grabbing my Jaws hardwood floor cleaner. So I know this says floor cleaner, so you can use it on your wood floors. In my last house, I had like an engineered hardwood I'd use it on. Now we currently have um, tile, it looks like hardwood, but it's just tile. But I do use this product on my coffee table, on painted furniture, on sealed woods. Basically, if you have any type of wood, this isn't gonna mess with it, so you can go ahead and use it on it. So the Jaws glass cleaner is obviously good for like windows, glass, all of that. That's kind of self-explanatory, but this is really good for your electronics. So I know a lot of people don't clean their TVs because it makes them nervous or they don't know what to put on it. They can get super dusty. I just use one of their cloths. They're super soft that you can buy. I spray the cloth and then I wipe down my TVs and I do it weekly. I've never had any issues. I know going near TVs can be super scary. I wouldn't take any product and spray the screen itself. Just spray it on a soft rag and then wipe it off. Now it's time to fold laundry and like I said, I normally save this for the evening time. Sometimes it's afternoon, it just kind of depends on our schedule, but I do not go to bed with clean laundry somewhere. So I typically put it right on my bed, so I have to fold it, put it away before we crawl into bed. Another good thing is find a good spot to fold laundry. So. Um, in my last house, I moved around a lot. I have it in this house. It's like my bed's the perfect height that I don't have to like bend over. I don't have to sit down. So it just makes it quick and easy. Plus most of the items are gonna stay in this room. So it's really hard to like fold in the living room and then put it all back in the basket and then take it to room to room. But since Savannah like folds her laundry on her bed and puts it away, it's really easy for us to fold ours on the bed and then it goes either in our closet or in the bathroom. Once I get done folding all of our laundry, I'll just put Chase's back in the laundry basket and he puts his stuff away. We rarely put each other's stuff up just because we all have like our own drawers and where we want it hung. So I'll just fold it up for him and then leave it out. Um, but that was that day. Now we're moving on to Friday. So we're getting close to the weekend. I'm starting out with something simple here. I had bought new placemats. If you guys watched the shop with me, you guys saw me buy these. I'm loving these in my space. I'm so glad I decided to keep them. So I was just cutting those tags off and now I'm gonna be putting away all the clean dishes. So 
So you can see on this particular day, I didn't do any cleaning until night. It is night outside. I have like my jammies on. There's some days we just wake up and we're so busy. I don't have time to clean. So that may be more of you working moms. You may not get home till the evening. You may have went to work all day and school activities, sports activities. You can still come home and just push through, get some cleaning done, because then it's gonna save you on the weekends. It's just like you work all week, you don't wanna spend a whole Saturday or whole Sunday cleaning. So just spend a few minutes every evening tidying up and it really is gonna save your weekends from just deep cleaning the whole house. Time stops when we're alone. You got my love, don't let it go. What I love about our living room is that it's super easy to keep it clean and to pick it up. Um, we had a sectional before and I was constantly like messing with the cushions, but lately I've just been getting the itch to switch. Like I miss our sectional so much. I miss the coziness of it. Not that we can't get comfortable on these, but I miss like the corner element. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely been on the hunt for a new sectional. So if you guys see a video come out, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> It's amazing if you're super busy, but you'll take a few minutes to like fluff up the cushions, vacuum your rugs and carpet, wipe down the cabinets, maybe run through your house and just put anything that's not in its home back away. You can seriously do it less than 30 minutes and it sets the tone for the next day. So just push through a little longer and you're gonna be so thankful. Now we're going in to Saturday. So it's the weekend. Once again, we had another huge busy day. We were working on the patio makeover video. Um, so we just weren't at home a lot. Chase decided to make breakfast for dinner. I love breakfast for dinner until it's time to clean up breakfast at dinner because it takes so much. So Chase and I are actually gonna tag team this one. When the house is super messy, grab help. It's not all your responsibility. We all cooked, we all ate, so we can all help clean up. And it's gonna go by so much quicker if someone will just get in there and help you. On this particular day, we had spent almost the whole day working on the patio makeover. That video is coming out next, so be on the lookout. But we had to go back over there because I was needing some night clips of the house and we wanted to check on a few things. I went ahead and grabbed my vacuum and mop. The floors were destroyed. So they had these covered when they were working on the walls. I'm gonna do a whole reno update number two. It's gonna be coming up shortly. So just be on the lookout for that. But the floors were uncovered. They were so dusty. I wanted to spend some time and just go ahead and work on them so they didn't get worse. I definitely didn't have to do this, but it felt so good to get those floors clean. Once I pulled out my mop, I was getting to see how beautiful these floors were. I'd almost forgotten. They still have speckles on them. I'm still gonna have to deep clean them, but I'm not gonna do that until all the workers are out of here and they're finished working on the house. But it was nice just to go ahead and maintain those so they didn't get worse as time goes on. But now we're on to Sunday. It's the last day of the week. We've almost survived. Of course, I'm ending it with piles and piles of laundry. We also had groceries delivered. So we still have some work to do today. Groceries is probably something we do weekly as well. 
it's never like a set day. As you can tell by my schedule and my cleaning routine, it's really fluid. I have things I wanna get done every day, but there's not a specific time. There's things I wanna do weekly, like wash the sheets, clean the bathrooms, but it's not this set, rigid, every Tuesday I'm gonna do this. If you're that busy and need that type of a schedule, do it. Just figure out what works for you. For me, I just like it to just feel more natural. I don't wanna feel like I have to do something. I wanna feel like I get to do it. So if I don't feel like cleaning the bathrooms that day, maybe I'll just clean the sheets and then I'll do the bathrooms one day when I have more energy. So definitely just figure out if you're a more fluid routine person or if you need like a set schedule day and time to keep you on track. Now I'm gonna head outside. Cleaning off my porch is something I do weekly. Sometimes it's even multiple times a week. It kind of depends on our weather here in Oklahoma. Um, we have got to work on our flower beds. We just cannot find um, the shrubs and things we want. I don't know what it is. It's probably the illness. It's probably lots of things, the timing. Um, but we may have to wait until like next spring. But until then, I just have this whole flower bed full of mulch and it gets super windy here. It gets rainy and just pushes it out. And I just like my patio and my mats to be super clean. So I like to come out here at least once a week, shake out those mats, brush all that mulch back into the flower bed until I can work on it and then put things back and it just keeps it nice and fresh. And of course, I'm doing laundry again. It's just insane the amount of laundry we go through for a family of three. Savannah does dance five days a week, so she has a lot of changing when it comes to clothes. We're working on the reno, so I feel like we're taking like three showers a day because Oklahoma's refusing to let fall come in. We're just gonna go from summer, probably straight to winter. Um, so it just gets so hot, so we're changing and taking showers. I don't know, we'll have the same amount even in winter. I just don't know what it is. I just feel like we just always have laundry. It's just part of life. <laughs> That is going to wrap up this realistic clean with me. I hope you guys liked this style of video. It was just a little bit different. It was less like professional. It was just like grabbing the camera every time I was gonna clean. I found, hope you found it just super motivational and helpful. I do wanna thank Jaws again for sponsoring today's video. I love having sponsors because it gives you guys free content. If you guys are needing your pod refills or if you haven't tried out Jaws before, definitely check them out. I'm gonna have the link down below in my description box. And then be sure to use Ash 25 so you get your 25% off at checkout. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye. See you next time.